But I'm going to say right now, if Andrew Gillum was in fact involved in a gay orgy with meth overdose, uh, with a meth overdose, I got hair in my mouth. Honestly, that makes me like him a lot more. Mr. Gillum, father of, I don't know, three or four children, married man. He's married, y'all. He's supposed to be a, a, a Christian man talking like a pastor. And you get caught in a hotel room in Miami, bucket naked, doing meth. C Come on, somebody, somebody help this man. Somebody pray for Gillum because I'm about to get him. There was a special guest and these these three guys, Andrew Gillum and two other homies. Um, and the special guest was, well, a male escort. Mm -hmm. And not the male escort that escorts the ladies. It was the male escorts that escorts the other men. That's, that's, that's what it was. He was part of the alphabet community. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Pimpin. Any real one in attendance today will tell you, yeah, we already knew Andrew was, was about that funny life. We, 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 we already knew his money was funny. We knew everything about the man. You could just see it in his face. I'm just saying, we could see it in his face. I knew when the first pictures came out, when he had the scandal with the FBI agents, when he the, remember the pictures where he was just out with the, with the white dude and the white dude was just like, uh, and just, mm, I don't think I have any pictures like that with the homies. <laughs> that, right? That doesn't even look like a homie. That looks like a couple. That doesn't even look like that was your friend. That looked like that was your partner, Pimpin. That's, can we be honest here? Can we all be honest? Gillum needs to be blasted on every news network. He's been on CNN. He's on Twitter every day bashing the president. All he do is talk about integrity and all this other stuff. And you get caught up like that. I, I, I'm wondering what did he tell his wife? Uh, baby, uh, what happened was, so you were at a wedding, your wife wasn't there? Your wife wasn't at the wedding? Oh, okay, I was wondering. Why only only three of y'all in the room? Where the rest of the, the bridal party? Where, where everybody else at? Where, where are the rest of the uh, wedding attendees? Did you pay for that room? You a grown man. You got money. You didn't pay for that room, but you in the room with somebody else and your wife ain't there? You went back home. You didn't go to your wife's room? Oh, okay. You and your wife don't have a hotel room there? Oh, okay. I was just wondering. I was just wondering. You ain't finna sneak this over us, man. But I want to see more people call out Andrew Gillum. This is the gay male escort found naked and overdosing on crystal meth in a hotel room with the leading Democrat. Oh man, this is about to get serious. Andrew Gillum, a married father of three who narrowly missed out on becoming Florida's first black governor, was too inebriated to speak when cops arrived at the Ritzy Mondrian Hotel in Miami's South Beach Party District. He was inside the room early Friday with two more men, one of them a 30-year-old male escort named Travis Dyson, who was being treated by paramedics for a suspected drug overdose. Cops found three plastic bags of suspected crystal meth and a third man present. Family, I want you to hear this story. This is an incredible story. I want you to hear it all the way out. And you tell me what you think Andrew Gillum was doing inside of that room with that gay male escort all along doing drugs, inebriated. At least one guy was naked. Mr. Gillum left the hotel room and returned to his residence without incident. No arrests were made and police do not plan on bringing charges. At this time, the incident is not being investigated as a criminal matter, said a spokeswoman for the Miami Beach Police Department. Can you say favoritism of privilege? What that money and that connect can get ya? Whoa. Man. I ain't gonna waste no time on this. Better that his wife find out now than later. The best case scenario, him, Andrew Gillum, and this uh, male escort are really just friends. Maybe they're really just good buddies, good friends, okay? It's nothing wrong with being friends with a male escort. The thing about being a politician, and this is what I'm going to bring up about the Obama story in just a second. When you're a politician, you represent 
like, let's just say president for existence. His constituents is all Americans. Whether you're a porn star, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're a doctor, whether you're a stripper, whether you're poor and homeless. I expect for a politician to be buddy buddy with doctors, lawyers, other politicians, school teachers, professors, but I also expect for them to be friends with, you know, construction workers, strippers, maybe porn stars, um, you know, stay at home mom and unemployed people because guess what? Your constituents have all different occupations. Um, so it's kind of hard to say whether Andrew Gillen was in the hotel room because he wanted some or he was in the hotel room because that really is his good Judy. I don't really know. I really want to give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe they were just friends and maybe Andrew Gillum just got caught up. As a matter of fact, I am going to give him the benefit of the doubt. He was caught up. We all find ourselves in situations that are just bad. They look bad. They are bad. And it is what it is. But I'm not going to jump to conclusions yet. Okay. I, I, I want, to, like Wendy Williams, let's keep digging on this one. Let's keep digging because I feel like there's really more to find out. Um, but I can assure you this, Andrew is not going to be on CNN. Okay. And in no time soon until he figures this whole stuff out, because this is the type of stuff that could really put a stain on your political career. Okay.